Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We are looking at the trailer to Yuri. This is starring Vicky Kashal, Yami Gautam, Paresh Rawal, and it's written and directed by Aditya Dar. It comes out January 11th, 2019, so mark your calendars. It is coming out in about a month, a little bit over a yeah. month. So here we go. Oh my god, 2019 is coming. That was not long ago. <laughs> Oh. Holy Moses, okay. Farz or Farzi me, but it's a matra cantarota. A girl map ne dish of Nebayo Kilab Nilada. To my apne Nazrome Farzi one Gerajama. Sir, I promise you, Apuja Kahibi Vishija. My apne Harik the Baiko Zinda, Sai Salama Babas Lama. Pakistan Job Hasha Samasta, who sees Hasha may Pakistan Kosanjanika Sama. Oh, my God. Surgical strikes. Uri hamle ka handle kaun tha? Planning ka hoon. Parosa to kijiye me. Ah, tayu khosh. Zada nata kia na, to tere khor tere muh se bahar nikal dunge. Jis kira ji ko desh bhakti dikhane ka vakta gaya. You're going to be my pilot, sir. Ye Hindustan ko chup nahi baithega. Ye naya Hindustan hai. Ye dar mein khushega bhi, aur maarega. He's not the uh, sweet guy that we uh, knew nope. before, is he? Nope, but I'm <laughs> buying it. No, I'm totally buying it also. Like, very believable as that intense leader yeah. type. So, yeah. You know what? I... Oh, shit. Damn. That's, that's not terrifying. That was a very different tone from the previous yes, teaser. I was gonna say. That was a lot more like edgy and modern yeah. sounding versus the other one which had more classical sound to it. Not, I'm not mad at it, I'm just like pointing that out as a thing. It reminds me of all things of American Sniper mm -hmm. because it kind of had that tone to it where it was like fighting for your fellow man, fighting yeah. for your fallen soldiers, even though that's a completely different story, I totally understand. I'm just saying like the tone that it yeah. reminds me of. But what I did appreciate was the walking away from the explosion at the end because <laughs> I've never seen it in real time. It's always a slow motion walk away from an explosion. Right. Like you look at any action movie, the first one I'm thinking of is Shooter with uh, Mark Wahlberg and it's an Anton Fuqua film where he walks away from an explosion in slow motion. I'm like, again with this? Here, it's not in slow motion and I appreciate that. It's real time. Like I actually like seeing explosions in real time uh -huh. more than in slow motion because the slow motion thing is like a very old school thing that they yeah. used to do. They'll shoot like one explosion with like eight different cameras and they'll show you all eight angles as it, <laughs> Goes in slow motion. <laughs> it has a very real feel to it, even despite the modern music that's being attached to it. Even just from the trailer, you feel like you're in there with them in the trenches, basically. Yeah, it's portraying the movie as being like really hard. You see a lot of things that, you know, you're not really used to seeing so much of, like a lot of the torture and just like how hard he is as a character. I totally wasn't expecting the woman who was interrogating the dude to have her hand on a on a rope yeah. <laughs> like ready yeah. to hang him like i didn't notice that until she pulled it and i was like whoa you're just not used to a seeing that at all and b seeing a woman be the aggressor you date some of the women i've dated and you're used to that shit <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm just messing around <gasps> What I'm wondering about is how much of the movie is that feeling. Going back to the reference I made earlier, in American Sniper, Bradley Cooper had that feeling at a certain point in the film where they wanted to get back at these people who they yeah. felt, you know, took some of their brothers in arms, right? 
And so here, it, it seems like a substantial part of this trailer is that, like, going after them and that right. kind of rage. And I'm like, I'm just wondering how long that sustains in the story, or if there's another place it goes emotionally, if Vicky Cashall's character starts to question what he's doing at some point. Right. Or if losing his brothers, he starts to wonder at what cost, you know, is this is, mission. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just wondering if, if that is a factor at all in the story. Or if it's just a straight, like, we want revenge, and yeah. it's going to be a hardcore action movie where they're just kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, I think the closer reference would be Zero Dark Thirty, actually, now that I think about it. You also uh -huh. had a strong female in there, and she wanted to get Bin Laden. She wasn't torturing anybody by any stretch, but she was certainly sanctioning it in the story. And that was all about this one mission to take down this one person, this one faction. Mm -hmm. and, and here, it, it seems like this is just like one mission, that's what the movie's about and it's retribution. I think it's something we can all easily understand and if you're from India or you're Indian and it's even easier to identify with because, you know, yeah. there's patriotism. Exactly, it feels very, very patriotic, especially when he's asking like, are your spirits high? And they're like, Jai Hind, Jai Hind, you know, right. like, I'm not Indian, but even I was like, Holy crap, yes! What I'm wondering about is something I've noticed a lot in comments, which is there have been a lot of patriotic themed films yeah. in the past year or so. And I'm just wondering how you guys feel about that. Like, when you see this, are you feeling that, that level 10 patriotism still when you watch it? Or is there some part of you that's like, okay, like this looks good, but the patriotism stuff can like take a back seat for a minute. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering how you guys feel, like honestly. I have no idea, like we don't get nearly as, at least to my recollection, we don't get nearly as many films that represent patriotism on this level all the time. Like, right, yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder about the collective consciousness in India if in the past few years, because obviously it takes time to make movies, right? Yeah. If there is this feeling of intense patriotism that's coming out right. more and more, because if art is a reflection of society and what we're going through, then it stands to reason that maybe this sentiment of patriotism is something that's coming more and more to the forefront. There's two thoughts I have at the same time off of what you just said. Number one is we're all pulling from the, the same zeitgeist. Like, right. It, there's like awesome videos if you go back that show people, two people who are trying to invent stuff at the same time, like the exact same thing, uh -huh. and one got the patent first, right? And so there's that, right? Because like you said, the collective consciousness. Uh, the other thing is there are certain films that get made not just because of the spirit of what people are feeling, but also because money can be made off of that story, True, yeah. you know, and it's hard to know what's informing it more. Uh, I have no idea. That's why I'm genuinely curious as to how you guys feel. This is an instance where I, I would be educated by, you know, the comment yeah. section. Anyway, uh, Vicky Cashal, yes. like, I really, really appreciate him as an actor because every time I watch him, you can tell he commits a thousand percent to whatever he's doing to the point that you have yet to watch Raman Raghav 2.0, even though that's like not my favorite movie. I appreciate his acting in there. I appreciate I appreciate the acting overall in that film. Right. Nawazuna Siddiqui is also in that, and so you have Vicky Kashal and Nawazuna Siddiqui in the same film, wow. which is awesome. Uh, but at that time, I had no idea who he was. And now, with more experience with him, even just from trailers, like in retrospect, I, have a, I appreciate that performance even more because he's like a cold individual in Raman Raghav 2.0. And then you see him in lust stories, right. right? And he's super sweet. And then here, he's this hardened soldier who wants to claim retribution for his fallen soldiers. You really buy him as yeah. these individual people, at least as an outsider looking in. If I spoke the language, maybe I'd feel differently. But, you know, as an ignorant American, like for me, Dude has got the chops. Like, yeah. he really assimilates that character. I just buy it immediately. Well, even his physicality and everything as well. Like, he certainly looks like he's a soldier. The way he carries himself, the way he holds the gun, and, like, how his body looks right. and everything like that. And uh, his face. I would imagine that there's some training in there. Oh, obviously. yeah, of course, yeah. I know it sounds like a dumb dream, but, like, you know... There's a lot of actors, like for uh, Black Hawk Down, uh -huh. a number of the actors did two weeks of basic. Oh and my God. Like, I know that sounds brutal, and basic training is hard, but that sounds awesome. Like, you have to get into shape for this role. You have to go through a version of basic in order, basic training, uh, in order to, you know, get ready for this role. Well, the good thing as well is that you know that you only have to do two weeks of it, and then you never have to do it again, you know? Like, but well, if think, you're a soldier... Yeah, I think, I think basic is two weeks, and then you go into other kinds of training. Right, yeah, but, know. like, that's not your life. 
You know, you get right. to taste it as an actor and it's like, wow, that's really cool. I got to wear the shoes of somebody else's life and walk those steps for a while. But, you know, now I'm going to go back to being me. Between the two trailers, I would like to know how you guys feel. I personally prefer the tone of the first teaser. Mm -hmm. This trailer, like, I like that it's giving me more story and more to, like, sink my teeth into in that regard, emotionally and, and whatnot. But I, I like just the tone, the music of the first teaser yeah, more. Yeah, the first one I felt was more emotional. Like, yeah. you, you definitely got that feeling of loss, especially with the, the shot of the, the little girl, and she's upset because her dad died, right? Right. So, that kind of hits you really hard. I, I think the reason I was relating the first one, I, I'm trying to recall what I said when I did the first reaction. I think I, I mentioned Zero Dark Thirty in the teaser reaction. And the reason why is because of the tone. Right. And whereas here, you get that rock music going. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that tone is more like American Sniper. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's this scene with Bradley Cooper and his troops going on tanks with the American flag up and there's right. like rock music as they're going after the guys. It's a different feeling. The great thing is they've put out two very different tones and I suppose what that accomplishes you, is you get both audiences. Right, yeah. And maybe the movie falls somewhere in between? I would imagine that it veers more on the former than it does on this one in terms of the tone. So this one's more of like the commercial. This trailer, is more of a, just a commercial. Which is like, hey, this is cool. You guys should watch it. Right. There was a, a Star Trek movie commercial years ago where they put rock music on it. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, no. It's Star Trek. Right, it's I think it was Star Trek Insurrection or something or another, and I'm like, why would you? It's Star Trek. You don't put rock music on a Star Trek trailer. And there was no rock music in that movie. So I oh. imagine <laughs> I imagine that this is a similar situation. This is just a way to market it. It's got 312,000 upvotes, so clearly, you know, nobody cares about, the, nobody gives a shit about the rock music. <laughs> I would definitely upvote this myself, and I'm, I'm definitely eager to watch it. Again, I would love to know what you guys think. Be honest and be verbose. Leave your comment below. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Check out Jabby Koi on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already, check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.